Well, what's up? Welcome back. This is round two for you guys, but in actuality, it's more like round four or five, I think, working on this thing. Um, just yesterday, I made a nice video. Well, I recorded a nice video. I haven't edited it yet, so you may have seen it already. But anyway, this is part two of that. Um, I'm going to make this video a little bit shorter. Uh, I still have these little potholes here and there. So I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do and then maybe turn the camera back on later on and show you the end results. Um, uh, my thinking of how I can pop some of these little thin layers where there's air trapped beneath it is with a wire brush and just kind of just kind of beat on it and, and see if I can open up that thin layer that's sitting on top is when I originally started working on this this corner top corner and this side I took a um, I took a tool and kind of flaked off some of the existing fiberglass so what's happening is I can feel an indentation up here so this needs to be brought up a little bit more with some fiberglass mat um, so what's doing it's concaving right here and then going back up to the original uh, thickness of the fiberglass all around here and around here but on this side and this top corner it's uh, it needs to be brought back up so what I think I'm gonna have to do is take some more of this paint off so that so that I can get further into the actual uh, thickness of the fiberglass so that way when I put this second coat on and I go to sand it with the uh, felt sander I can get this all nice and level off uh, because again when I primer and paint that's going to be noticeable and I don't want that uh, I want it to be when you're looking down the van you don't see any kind of wobble you know any kind of indentations so that is what I'm going to be working on today all right so again uh, quickly I just want to show you after doing the slurry it filled in all these little all these little holes pretty nicely again I'm, I'm really happy with that slurry um, I don't know I didn't see it anywhere but I uh, just kind of thought it up but uh, now I'm getting ready to start mixing a, a batch of resin I got my mats down here again this top corner I'm just gonna put a section uh, of mat here and then maybe a double up smaller section here because this is really where it feels like it's caved in down here not so much but here in this top corner but one solid piece and then a couple smaller pieces right here in this corner and the rest seems to be okay and um, any other stuff I think would be done with Bondo and I'll leave that to the professionals uh, they'll probably just put a thin coat and they have some tool I guess to kind of go across the whole thing and really get this dialed in nicely so um, but like I said the hard part will be done by me all this crap <laughs> so it's a nightmare so I'm gonna set the camera up and um, mix up some uh, resin and do another uh, do another uh, fast action shoot or time lapse I should say
right. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, I don't know how much you can tell by the video, but or in the video, but it is now raised. This section is raised quite high, actually. Um, so I probably overdid it. I probably just needed maybe two, but uh, I really just want to get this thing done and over with. Um, so I just really wanted to make sure that this is going to be the final sanding. So let it harden for about an hour or so. Come back, sand it all down, and hopefully now this will get rid of that little concave and uh, should be good to roll, man. And then I could finally be done with it. Um, yeah, so I'll get back here, sand it, and uh, yeah. All right, just another update. I threw some Bondo on here. Uh, just letting that cure a little bit and then uh, I'll take the sander to it and uh, see how I did and then I'm gonna rush to the store and get the primer and paint um, yeah and I'll turn the camera back on when it's uh, all finished said and done and uh, see how I did so we'll see you then all right so just another update on the progress here i worked yesterday into the night so i didn't have enough light to show the uh results of yesterday but uh, i was able to get at least a, one coat of primer on here and it's looking really good uh i do see a couple of holes here and there that i'm gonna fill in with some um bondo uh, i did put try to put a layer of bondo on before the primer as well uh, just trying to fill in any kind of imperfections uh, So I think today I'm going to Fill in these tiny little holes. I don't even know if you can see that or not um, I'm also gonna put some Bondo on this couple little spots. I hit on the corner here There's a little spot there And here I'm gonna sand up these little sections here where I got some resin on The van like here. I'm gonna try to sand that off and uh, I'm gonna give the primer a sand. Uh, this is the primer I'm using. It is a fill. It's a fill-in primer. Let me show you. Um, basically, it's a thick primer so that you can, uh, so that it'll fill in any kind of imperfections, small imperfections. So it's gonna fill in any kind of. Uh, uh, sand lines or anything like that that might be left from uh, rough sanding um, anything big yeah it won't fill in but uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far I still feel a couple high spots here and there when I run my hand across it so when I do go to get the thing painted I'll see if they can't um, you know perfect it a little bit <laughs> Um, again, I'm not a professional at doing this, and uh, I don't have the know-how and the proper tools. Uh, I don't. I think they would use like a, uh, a straight sanding block or something like that. But anyway, those those guys know how to uh, to match the uh, the uh, shape and everything of the vehicle. So, and I do have like a little spot here. You know, it's kind of. I don't know how you would call it, but it's kind of concaved, so I don't know. It's tricky, but for now, it looks better than what I, what it did, and I'm pretty happy with myself, and um, yeah, it's time-consuming, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, so, and then also, guys, later on, I want to try to do another van tour. I accidentally deleted my last van tour van tour so what i'll have to do is try to see if i can't recover it from one of my hard drives and see if i can't get that back up on the site and um i've been doing a lot of work on the inside too so i'm kind of excited to show that as well so um yeah that'll be coming up in the future at some point but uh yeah i'm just concentrating on this right now so i'll turn the camera back on a little later and uh show you some more of the progress all right, just another quick update here. I've sanded a little bit of the primer, and I guess I should, uh, this is probably a good thing to tell you guys, 
the primer acts as a good way to see if there's any any high spots and as you can see I do have high spots all up through here um, because I've sanded away the primer here uh, but there's still a lot here and I could feel uh, a, a little bit of a rise here and up here uh, this corner is really good nice and flat um, so I think what I'll do now is uh, wash it first I got a, a bucket full of uh, detergent and, and a little bit of water um, the uh, the object is to wash off any of the dust left from the sanding uh, and then I'm gonna put another coat of uh, Bondo and I'm gonna try to I, I think I'm gonna try to use uh, a uh, paint stir stick and where it's pretty long where I can hopefully try to get this nice and flat in here as well and then while I have the Bondo uh, before it hardens I'm gonna try to put a little bit on these little spots that I hit with the with the belt sander and hopefully that's freaking it man I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm really tired of doing this but uh, I wanted to try to get it as perfect as I can um, that way the uh, when I take it in to get it painted it, it, there won't be as much uh, work for the uh, for the painter so there you go